do you think your first year as a pro went? Uh, I thought it went pretty well. Um, definitely playing for Chicago, playing under Julie Ertz, who was um, Women's National Player of the Year this year, was just so cool. You know, I remember the first few practices with her, it was like, try not to be the fangirl, you know, like, oh, it's Julie Ertz, you know, Chris and Press. So that was really, really cool to watch her and learn from her. Um, but then getting, you know, waived and moved out to D.C., you know, no player wants to get waived or traded or any of, any of that. So definitely was a bump in the road, but um, I took it in stride and I was able to adapt. So I think that helped me grow um, as a player. So recently you've had the opportunity to train with some of the youth girls in the off season. How did that go? Oh, it's been a blast. I've gotten to know the girls pretty well. Um, they show up every day and they're just excited to be running around, which is like so, so fun for me. It makes my job easier. Um, and I really liked planning the sessions. You know, I see something one girl needs a little help at and plan that session around that. Um, so I really enjoyed, um, you know, actually being a part of their development and getting to know them and having fun too. We would always end um, the practices with scrimmages and sometimes I would have to jump in there. So it was cool, you know, playing, playing alongside them. That was really fun. When you think about your time as a Columbus Express soccer player, what are some of your favorite memories? Oh gosh, there's so many. <laughs> there are two things that really stick out to me. I remember um, Coach Hall in camp, we were younger, I think it was U10. Um, he would have a practice once a month, I think it was, where the parents were invited to come in and scrimmage against us. So fun, like all the parents would come out and we'd just, at the end of practice, just play against them and it was fun because, you know, parents didn't really grow up with soccer my age, so it was fun to be like, oh, I just megged my mom, you know, but I remember that really clear. And then um, I remember playing against the boys team for our age, we would play them because, um, I mean, boys are very good at a young age too, so it was like, it was an added, like, boys versus girls, it was really fun, and I remember going to school with some of those guys we would play against, so, you know, we'd trash talk each other during school and then, you know, play against them. I remember those two things was just so, so fun. If you had a piece of advice for Columbus Express soccer players, what would you tell them? Well, first of all, I'd say just enjoy it. You know, at soccer, I think it's getting to a point where it's more demanding and they're like, oh, don't play high school now, you know, because we're doing club year round. I just think just enjoying the game in itself is just so important. And I think that's helped me get where I am today, just falling in love with the sport. And it's not, oh, I have to go to practice. You know, you want to look forward to going to practice. You want to you want to look forward to playing games. I think that is number one most important thing. And then Two, I would say, is just working on your own. I think, you know, that's what separates good players from great players. I remember spending hours in my garage when it's freezing outside just juggling. And because our coach Holland Camp would have um, juggling t-shirts, it was like the juggling club. So if you got 50, you got a shirt that said 50 plus. So I'm like, all right, I got 50 now, I gotta get 100. So just those little things, I think, really separates the good players from the great players. You know, working on your own when no one else is watching outside of practice. You know, just taking, taking a little extra time to develop yourself is really important. Morgan, why would you recommend Express Soccer? I recommend that they play Columbus Express because I just, my best memories with soccer was as a youth player and with Columbus Express, like, I, there's just so many pivotal moments. I remember growing up and I was like, oh my gosh, that was just such a, just such a blast. And you know, you, I, even today I laugh with some of my friends. We're, I mean, I, we're all past college and we all still remember those moments growing up. So I think that is one that is just so important. And then um, two, I mean, I've played, I practiced in the off season a little bit with the um, Express Boys teams and just playing with them and having fun with them and then being around the coaches. I coached myself. There's just, there's so much potential with this club already. There's so many great coaches and I, you know, I coached myself, you know, with the younger groups and I see, I see the talent there. So, I mean, all those things combined, you're having fun, you're getting better, you're staying local, you're being, you know, you're playing with your friends from school. I think all of those things combined, you can't, it's, it doesn't get any better than that. Morgan, I want to say thank you so much for taking some time out of your schedule to talk with us. Um, before we go, is there any last words that you want to say to Columbus and Express? I want to thank Columbus Express um, for giving me the best memories of my life growing up playing the sport I love. Um, I think it's such an accomplishment 
being around for 40 years, that's great. Congratulations. Um, thank you for having me here today and you know, can't wait to watch what happens in the future.